Yeah. And the logo is like one percent. <laughs> oh, really? One <laughs> percent of of everything that you know encapsulates branding. branding. Social media has given everybody the effrontery, yeah. right? To, to call them themselves titles. names or yeah. to give themselves titles. Who are you? Okay. Okay. What do you stand for, and okay. why should people care about you? Hey, what's up and welcome to another episode of the creative chat where creatives get to share their experiences processes and thoughts with others today i have in the house i actually visited so i went away okay and i have with me here i'm just going to allow him to introduce himself because the titles are so many <laughs> i can't really keep all of them so welcome brand guy mike Thank you so much, Innocent, uh, for hosting me on uh, your, you know, channel. I, I think that um, mm-hmm. you have been an inspiration to a lot of oh, us. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> uh, startup YouTubers. Okay. You know, okay. and you you are you know an affable uh, creator mm-hmm. yourself. So yeah, I think personally, I take a lot of inspiration from you. Okay. As well. So I'm honored to be on your show. Yeah. So um, let's quickly get right into the video. Today we're going to talk mainly on branding because this guy right here is branding. So if you go to his Instagram page, for instance, he talks a lot about branding. So we are going to dive into what branding is, why you should brand yourself as a creative. But then we are just going to, first of all, get started on how he came this far as a creative. So Mike, do you mind sharing your story with us? how you got started into all of these things C- certainly um uh, my story is quite funny and interesting okay. at the same time because i started off as a graphic designer myself okay right but the funny thing is that i'm an accounting student oh <laughs> interesting so my first degree is a bachelor's in accounting, in accounting. uh fact is that when i was doing my first degree mm-hmm. in accounting right i was also into politics so i decided to run for the public relations officer of my department okay and uh i won the election so afterwards as part of my duties i had to design newsletters i had to design uh notices i had to design posters flyers to hype events basically so i was considered as the marketing student in the accounting department (laughs) (laughs) because yeah i was i was doing pr i was doing all of that and i realized that i had a knack for you know the whole creative thing design so i decided to take it up and learn you know uh while i was you know acting in that role as Mm pr so i decided to take some online courses and then also you know youtube yeah. you know i the always YouTube say university. that <laughs> the youtube university is yes. really helpful here yeah, to some of us so i also decided to go on youtube and then check a lot of tutorials yes. for which i can say that some of your tutorials were also oh. uh part of my journey you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i have not said this anywhere but oh, yeah okay. part of your tutorials were also you know very helpful to some of us and right. then that was where i started and then i began to build you know the brand on campus okay you know as the brand guy brand as guy. the brand guy the so brand that was guy where Mike. yeah that was yes. where the name started, started from uh fast forward i realized that graphic design wasn't enough okay so i added video editing okay and then i got to a point where i was like video editing <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> enough i yes. had to add something so yes. i added copywriting okay and i was like okay now i can shoot i can film i can design uh, I can write my own scripts. What's mm-hmm. next? I felt that it, was, it wasn't still enough, enough because the me. marketing and advertising, you know, industry is very, very vast, and the competition Obvious. is very rough. Obvious. So you need to stand out. Being a graphic designer is not enough. It's not enough. Yeah. Being a video editor is not enough. There's this thing <laughs> even that talent itself, mm. it's not enough. Yeah. Yeah. So I think yeah, right. Yeah. So I was like, okay, then why don't I go into areas that 
people are not really focusing in because okay. in the basic thing in branding is differentiation. You need to set yourself apart. That okay. is the basic uh, theory of branding. I told you you'll <laughs> just be getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> you need yes. to set yourself apart. So Honestly. in a, in a, amongst a thousand designers, what's the setting you apart? apart? What is making you different right. from the lot? Right. So I decided to go into the whole theoretical and practical aspect of mm-hmm. branding okay. you know um, trying to you know build a brand for yourself that is likable and trustable by people okay. and i realized that um in trying to build a brand as well you're not just building any brand you're building a marketable brand okay. a brand that is profitable so in trying to build a brand for yourself that is a personal brand it has to be very well thought out you know you have to take conscious efforts in building your brand not just designing logos mm. and calling yourself names you and, need to and that is one thing that we are going to <laughs> really yeah, yeah. talk about the the whole aspect of like logo design somebody would have like a logo design alone and that is the person's brand i think you you throw more light on it yeah yeah it's sure, sure. Yeah. it's actually uh, uh, a problem in the industry right now because okay. most startups are dying because of that Okay. They think that when they have a logo, they have a slogan, they have a tagline, they are done. They have an Instagram account, they are done. You know, but it goes a long way to know that even the colors you're using can affect the success of your brand. Okay. You know, in areas in Ghana, red is abominable. Obviously. There's no way you can use red in that community or in that area. You know, so if you're a company and you lose sight of some of these details and you're selling your brand in areas yeah, where yeah, <laughs> yes you know yeah, yeah. the social cultural practices don't really you know favor your brand your brand will die obviously yeah with that said let's jump right into <laughs> what we are actually coming to talk about today yeah, yeah. when we say branding branding mm. Accra branding mm. <laughs> what is branding so in, in my point of view right branding okay. is basically giving yourself an image an image and okay. then an image in the sense that we are all perceived by other people okay okay right so people form impressions about you even before talking to you before yes. we met i had an impression about you okay before you know we spoke you had an impression about me obviously so what we are trying to do with branding is to create an impression of okay. yourself in the eyes of people so that even before talking to you or interacting with you they have some sort of perception about you and that can really influence the way people perceive you Obviously. you know if people think you are a good person mm-hmm. they can react to you to, uh, to you differently if they think yes, you're a bad, a bad person, person that can also have an effect on mm-hmm. how they see you okay. so branding is being conscious about how other people see you great. you get it yes <laughs> yeah. that's it mm. your logo alone is not your brand no, 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 right. no, no, never, never. Your logo is just a symbol. Yes, mm-hmm. we call something brand elements. Elements, okay. You see, brand elements are the kind of individual items or individual things that come that together to make your brand, to make your brand very okay. formidable or very solid, right? Okay. And the logo is like 1%. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> 1%, 1% of, of everything that you know encapsulates branding. branding yeah the logo is just a symbol that you put on things or or a symbol that represents who you are that's you all are. yeah oh, okay yeah so why is branding so important especially for creatives because uh, personally as a graphic designer i did graphics for years before i even came to understand that i need to position myself in a place that people will see me differently talking about perception yeah right so why is it so important for people creative startups to brand themselves right from the onset well uh being a creative is not a title okay it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle okay you get it it's a lifestyle it's you being able to find solutions to creative problems okay and there are so many people in this industry there are so many people in this area what are you going to do as an individual to set yourself apart that is the question okay and that is where branding comes in Mm -hmm. so if you want to set yourself out as a a designer a graphic designer designer. right um 
calling yourself a graphic designer is not enough. It's not enough. Yes. People should see you in a particular spectrum okay. where they can appreciate your creativity. Okay. Because if I say I want a graphic designer, but I want a graphic designer who pays attention to detail. To detail. Yes. Okay. I want a graphic designer, but I want a graphic designer who can also proofread okay. the brief. Yes. Because sure. some graphic designers make mistakes. Yes. As- they they send <laughs> works and they are full of, of mistakes. mistakes, spelling mistakes, grammatical errors. Them. Exactly. As you give it to them. Yeah. You know, and we are most graphic designers. I'm part of it. Most graphic designers are paying attention to the aesthetic yes. nature of the, the work. Colors, the beauty you know. hierarchy. In 2019, I uh, started. Uh, a little project called the business of design okay so it's basically the graphic design academy where i was teaching people not graphic design Mm -hmm. but the business business of graphic design yes i think we we will talk about that yes Mm -hmm. so in trying to brand yourself as a designer right you need to stand out look at yourself and say okay this is what i can do best okay this is what is this is what is my point of difference okay things that i do that other people don't Don't. and capitalize on that and then use that to build your brand you know because um as a graphic designer you need to learn obviously you you need to learn like you have to learn and read a lot of books because if you're working for a pharmaceutical company, you have to know everything about what's happening in, in the, the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical yes. company to be able to creatively provide solutions for their problems. Obviously. If you're working for a tech company, you need to learn what happens in UX UI. You need to learn what happens in, you know, optimizing mobile application. You need yes. to learn what happens in trying to advertise tech companies. Yes. You know, you need to advertise, you need to learn how COVID-19 is impacting the tech, the tech industry. World. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with design, but you have to know so yes. that it would inform your creative judgment. Yes. You know, so being a graphic designer is never enough. You have to, I think it's one of the fields that cuts across everything. Mm-hmm. Because if you're a creative director or if you're a graphic designer in an agricultural firm, you have to be a farmer. Yes, obviously, <laughs> obviously. You, you you obviously need to know a lot about the brand or the company that you are working. Just like you're saying, mm. it informs how you even come up with your designs yes. and everything. Yes. So um you just made mention of like a creative director. Mm. I, I see when you go on Instagram for instance, yeah, like a lot of designers, I'm a creative director, I'm a brand identity designer. Yeah should every designer call themselves a brand identity designer a creative director i think that at this point it's a problem (laughs) (laughs) it's it's a problem because social media has given everybody the The, effrontery right to To call themselves names or to give themselves titles Mm -hmm. but the thing is that it's going to hurt your brand in cases where you are given the job and you cannot live up to the task you cannot do the job that you say you can do especially now that we understand that the brand goes beyond just your logo yes, and yes, the yes. title you've given yourself exactly because if you're a creative director mm-hmm. it means that you have you know so many years experience in the creative industry oh, okay and if you're a creative director and you have so many years of um experience, experience. in the industry then it means that you can really you know craft solutions that work in the industry okay. in terms of copywriting in terms of video editing some graphic designers who call themselves creative directors do not know what scripts are yes obviously they obviously. do not know what um audio voiceovers are they do not w- know what sonic branding is okay. they do not know what briefs are some even have not seen what a brief the looks brief like is. yeah yeah you know but they call themselves creative directors i think that well some people will think that um fake it till you make it yeah <laughs> <laughs> fake it till you somebody make it somebody will also say fate it till you make it uh, so fa- they, they fa- have faith that one day it's going to be far <laughs> yeah. far yes one day like it yeah. apparently will work i think that the perception is skewed slightly because it's going to hurt you yes, yes. many companies well 
I think it's an individual uh, vision that you set for yourself. Mm-hmm. Personally, right? I want to work for some blue chip companies who understand branding. So if you go to some of these FMCGs or blue chip companies, right? Mm-hmm. They understand. They have a department for everything. They have a department for marketing, for branding, for corporate communications, for strategic uh, brand management, everything. everything. Mm-hmm. So the the organogram there works. So you can just call yourself creative director uh, and just work in. <laughs> yes. You yeah. have to show for it, you know. So if you're a graphic designer and you want to live up to the title of a creative director, why don't you learn? Why don't you go to school? Why don't you take up jobs that will make you competent enough to call yourself yes, a creative man. director? Yes, I can so relate to this because <laughs> something of this nature started when I, I started. You see, um, when you are learning, especially if you are self-taught, when yeah. you start up, like you want to be all around. You exactly. want to do everything. So I wanted to do um, photo manipulation for one lady last time on fiverr and charlie the way i was struggling at that point i just made it clear that photo manipulation is not for me (laughs) till then anything related to photo manipulation i wouldn't just go there and the person trusted me more and now i work more on things that i'm so good at yeah instead of like worrying myself saying that i can do photo manipulation whilst in you yeah see that you cannot actually so i think you are right it will hurt you the more yeah. if you try to go all around i think the problem that most of us face when we are starting out is trying to generalize everything, everything you know yes. just find a niche that you can dwell in and okay. then focus on how you can capitalize on that niche mm-hmm. you know don't try to be everything yes you know okay. try to be good in something you know yeah. so that people uh, can appreciate exactly what you do. I'm not saying don't spread your w- wings, okay. but don't be a uh, a jack of all trades. Exactly, a master yes. of none. And a master of none. You know. So yeah, uh, it's it's something that is very pervasive. But if we take a second look at it, if you sit down, write your ideas down, write your vision down. Sometimes we don't write our visions down. We think that oh, I'm a graphic designer. What if it's your five year vision? If I'm if I'm recruiting you for a problem uh, for a design role, I'll ask you, what is your five Five year vision? vision. If I don't hear anything that is laudable, I don't think you are you're great for the job because if you don't have any long term vision, then it's going to really skew your creative ambitions. Okay, you know, yeah. All right, so let's let's go back to the very big season. I've I'm just um, a startup. I just want to start branding myself. Yeah. What are some of the basic things I need to do? Like some of the very basic things you can do as a startup if you want to brand yourself, position yourself well. So as a startup uh, for creative agency or like a designer? Generally. Or generally, generally okay. Yeah. Well, uh, as a startup trying to build your brand, you have to ask yourself one question. Okay. Is your brand on demand? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay okay ask yourself this question if you're watching this video right now just pause for a second and ask, ask yourself is my brand, brand on, on demand? demand okay yeah and that is where branding comes in that is okay. where you need to take a second look at who you are what you stand for and why should people even care about you in the first place oh you know if That's you're a startup in anything whether pharmaceutical whether you're a startup you're a tech startup whether you are into you know you are selling on instagram yes <laughs> you have an online <laughs> store on instagram <laughs> okay you know ask yourself why should people care about me okay. what do i have to offer what, what is the value? value proposition exactly okay okay you know i, I um sean can always talk about mm-hmm. this thing value proposition yeah what are you ready to give to the people that they should even spend time on your instagram scrolling through your exactly. instagram exactly okay so i think that is a clear point mm. now how do i bring my brand into mm. because i know some people are already branded they've branded themselves right but the recognition is not coming how do do i do that okay so if the recognition is not coming then you've not branded yourself wow it's, it's <laughs> branding is a science and an art okay the science aspect is saying that if i add one plus one it's going to give me two okay 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 so that aspect of branding is where when you put in the work you try and build brand awareness. awareness you try and leverage on secondary brand associations right okay. it's going to really help you build recognition and 
relationship with yes. your with your audience yes. some people don't know who their audience are that is the key point the target identification the, is yes. problem for a lot of startups the we don't know audience. who we are marketing to we don't know who we, we are reach out reaching out to so we find ourselves having a good startup launch but mm-hmm. marketing to the wrong people good product wrong audience okay now you just mentioned marketing mm-hmm. and i think branding goes with marketing so let's talk about branding mm-hmm. and marketing what's the big difference when i was coming here i was when i was in the car i was watching one video and yeah. it was about branding versus marketing what's right. the big difference so uh the difference is that one comes before the other okay because there's a saying that which comes first the egg or the chicken <laughs> one of them yes <laughs> you'll come first <laughs> so uh marketing is all the holistic you know um procedures activities that you do to deliver your products to the final consumer okay so the distribution the pricing the targeting they are all marketing Marketing. techniques and approaches right okay branding is building perception okay in the minds of the people we say that there's a saying that um products are manufactured in a factory Mm -hmm. but a brand is built in the mind of the consumer or in the mind of the customer so marketing are activities okay but branding is what you do subconsciously or branding is what you do to put your name or your product in the minds Minds of the people of the of the of the target or of your audience Mm -hmm. you know so marketing i would say go hand in hand with branding but branding is the bigger thing and marketing is like a process or a tool that you are using to deliver your product because if you build a brand and customers cannot have access to your product then it becomes a marketing problem yeah obviously you know so you have a good brand like apple has a good brand Mm -hmm. right but if people are not able to access apple phone then it is not marketable yes <laughs> so they go hand in hand yeah. you know so um so i'm kind of put it this way mm. your whole content everything let's say your brand yeah is king yeah. but your marketing is queen exactly. you have the talent the product the good product exactly. and you still can't get it to the people mm. that is a marketing problem exactly. so um let's talk about your youtube channel the brand, brand on demand yeah. right uh-huh. why do you start the channel well personally i i started a channel for me okay (laughs) because yeah yeah let me be a bit selfish i started the channel for me because when i was starting out right i had difficulty in trying to you know um put my thoughts together Mm -hmm. fact is that in starting a youtube it's I am all about self like self building. Okay. I'm all about develop self development. Self So I started a YouTube to keep me going okay. or to keep me wanting to know more. Okay. Because when you're starting a YouTube a YouTube you have to learn graphic design, you have to learn video, video editing, editing, you have to learn SEO. SEO, you have to learn audio <laughs> branding, you have to learn script writing, a lot. You know, you have a to lot. learn set design and all of that. So, starting a YouTube does not really it's not really for me, it's not really about the fun of it. It's okay. actually about how it's going to help you develop yourself. Develop yourself. So, that's the basis why I started the YouTube channel. And then from there I decided to go to the next level where people who are like me are facing the same problem like starting their businesses right (laughs) yes so if i've been able to solve a problem that i was facing mean that it means that there are other people out there facing the same problem so let me share my thoughts let me share the knowledge i have Mm -hmm. with other people who might be going through what i went through so brand on demand is actually a podcast that you know um through small light on branding, branding. how to uh, uh, approach branding as a young person okay. if you have no knowledge about what about branding it. is brand on demand is a platform that gives you information about how to start your branding basically okay so with that said a link to the channel will be in the description you definitely need to go and check out because there are so many things on the more to what we've discussed so far right. now there are some few things that i do basically on the creative chat with mm. everyone that i do yeah are you ready for that part <laughs> yeah, okay so um do you prefer podcast 
or watching like a youtube video listening to a podcast or or let's start from mm. an ebook or a hard copy book uh hard copy book a hard copy book yes okay. a hard copy book because i want to be able to scribble underline things okay. i want to be able to you know feel it <laughs> feel it <laughs> okay okay yeah. that's that's interesting yeah. now a podcast or like a video do you prefer like watching for instance this particular one that we are recording we yeah. can also use it as a podcast yeah do you prefer listening or you prefer watching i prefer watching watching because anytime there are visuals included mm-hmm. right it it sends some signals to your sensory nerves okay and sometimes what your eyes see gets recorded on your mind yes so i like to watch because mannerisms etiquettes you know play a role in you know communicating a message yes so once you're listening you are not really feeling that the vibe body language yeah. and everything. but when you're watching you get to understand you know the issues just because you are you know seeing what is happening, happening. and then you put yourself in that you know scenario so watching is key for me key for you all right so the last question is um suggest three books or three podcasts that um the creatives watching you right now should read or listen to three books it can be on branding it can be on self-development like you mentioned earlier your three favorites i shouldn't call it favorite but three books yeah that you recommend to creatives to read okay so um the books i'm going to recommend uh, the first one is the brand gap the brand gap the brand gap yes. i think we can throw a link or we can throw yes i'll put the, link the cover on the screen yes, right the, the brand gap and okay. then we can also uh look at um there's this book that or podcast okay we can listen to the think marketing podcast think the sean canal yes, yes we can <laughs> that guy is good exactly yeah. listen to the yeah, think marketing think podcast marketing. or even watch it because it's on but youtube yes. and then uh of course listen to brand on demand podcast obviously <laughs> it will be it will be the first link in the description <laughs> Yeah. whilst you are watching the videos on youtube you can also listen to the podcast yeah according to your preference if you love to watch mm. you come to youtube if you love to listen you go to apple and then the, yeah uh, google podcast and then you can listen yes. and it. i've not said this anywhere but i'm in the middle of writing a book okay about about my life and about my you know creative, creative. endeavors so wow. if that is ready i would also you know share that and then well we can all take a sip obviously <laughs> i would love to read that yeah, book because yeah. uh like i take so much inspiration from you mm. i i go sometimes i spend a lot i don't know when i was in the car coming today i was just on your page right flipping i can go to the latter part and then i'll start flipping <laughs> again because <laughs> like, i take so much inspiration from you thank you all right so what's your final words to everyone listening to us right now uh, my final words to you guys um, is that if you're creative or you are a young person trying to build a brand for yourself, right? Mm-hmm. The first thing you have to do is to sit down in your comfort zone, right? Okay. And ask yourself three questions. Okay. Who am I? Who am I? Okay. What do I stand for? Okay. And why should people care? Okay. Who am I? What do I stand for? Yeah. And why should people, people care? care? Okay. Who are you? Okay. Okay. What do you stand for and okay. why should people care about you? Obviously. Ask yourself these questions and then try and provide answers, answers to them. To Once you are able to answer these three questions, you are on your way to building a formidable brand or a competitive brand or even a marketable brand that will be successful, that will shake the industry and will cause uh, so many, you know, uh, successes in your career as yes. a creative person so yeah that is from me to you <laughs> all right <laughs> thank you very much um the brand guy mike for coming on this show i'm so honored to um have been called by you to you know join me <laughs> on this because you're also you are doing marvelous already yeah, so i'm so just much. a little addition <laughs> to <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so guys, everything that we've discussed so far, the books that we talked about, all the links will be in the description. Follow the brand guy Mike on Instagram and check out his YouTube channel, 
because there are so much to it than what we've discussed so far and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well and don't forget that he's also a ceo of the brand the spicy girl pizza so ah, right. uh, yeah 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 so you can actually check that i'll put all links in the description if you want to follow all the brands that mike is leading thank you so much once again for coming and thank you also for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and <laughs> peace <laughs>